like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Being the most agile of the big cats, a tiger is not an easy animal to kill. So it may surprise you that there are actually quite a few animals that can kill a full-grown tiger. Maybe only in self-defense, but it's still possible. From the giant rhinos to the biggest land animal, here are 10 animals that can defeat a tiger. Number 10, porcupines. If you try that again, Mr. Tiger, you're gonna know what it feels like to have a quill going up your butt. It's obvious porcupines have a powerful defensive weapon in the form of quills. These spiky protrusions can cause terrible wounds, and sadly, for most animals, they don't know how to remove them. I'll never forget the time I almost ran over a porcupine while mountain biking. That would have been a painful wipeout. As for porcupines killing Bengal tigers, there have been a few incidents. Porcupines actually face leopards on a daily basis and usually come out victorious. When these spiky creatures don't have a problem with leopards and lions, what's another big cat gonna do? There's some graphic content of a tiger heart impaled by a porcupine quill. You've been warned. As you can see, if the porcupine gets a good hit with its quills, the tiger might end up dead. These incidents kind of make you wonder why the tiger even hunts these spiky devils. Number 9. Usuri Brown Bears It's easy to see why brown bears would be able to kill tigers due to their size, strength, and power. In Russia, Usuri bears and Siberian tigers come into conflict and tigers even hunt the bears which make up 1.4% of their diet. Larger bears might also engage the tigers and try to steal their food. During telemetry research in a protected wildlife area, 44 direct confrontations between the two predators were observed, in which bears were killed in 22 cases and tigers in 12 of the cases. What this shows us is that if a bear feels threatened, it's not gonna hesitate to defend itself. Note that the bear not only killed the cubs, but also the tigress. Tigers are pretty daring animals to take these guys on, that's for sure. Number 8. Indian Guar The guar is not your everyday cow. It's the largest known wild cattle on the planet. In fact, they're bigger than bison, water buffalo, and the cape buffalo. They're found in South Asia and are particularly vulnerable. As they're the heaviest and most powerful of all wild cattle, they hold a special place in the wild. This beast is known to be the tiger's favorite type of meal but it's not so easy to kill a guar. The males of this species are extremely muscular and powerful, able to generate enough power to be deadly to predators, humans, and other domestic cattle that are unfortunate enough to provoke them. These muscle-bound beasts, which look like they're on steroids, are three to four times heavier than the tiger. Their menacing horns can easily impale a tiger and a well-placed kick can shatter its skull. There have been many cases of guar flooring tigers in India and we all know a disabled tiger is as good as dead in the merciless jungle. Its certain fate is starvation, as it loses the ability to hunt. Number 7. Lion The lion is not the king of the jungle for no reason. It's powerful enough to challenge almost any animal. It goes without saying that in the wild, conflicts between lions and tigers are as rare as wings on a cat. But when they do, only a few things matter. Who is more aggressive, and who got the head start? Both of these cats are known to fiercely and fearlessly guard their territory. In a zoo in North Korea, a tigress died after it was badly injured by a lion. The lion was after a chicken that the zookeeper had thrown at him, but had landed in the trench. This was five meters away from his yard into the tigress territory. The tigress was quick to notice the presence of the lion and decided to do what she would do in the wild. Attack! She jumped in the trench, but made a costly mistake. She miscalculated her steps, and she landed terribly in the trench. The lion then went on the offensive, attacked, bit into her neck, and the tigress died. Number 6. The Moose The moose looks quite friendly in appearance. They look like they have permanent smiles on their faces. But don't let these goofy smiles fool you. If you see one, it's best to turn around and run away. They look so docile that most people don't think twice about approaching them. Most of the time, nothing noteworthy happens with the moose preferring to keep a safe distance from humans. But when a mother moose is with its calf, things are a lot different. Moose can be extremely dangerous when they're frightened. Mothers have a tight bond with their calves, and they attack any intruder they might perceive as dangerous. They've been known to attack wolves and even bears, and also the occasional human. They feel especially threatened by humans when there are dogs around. So if you plan on going for a walk in the woods where moose live, better leave the pup at home. They're the biggest members of the deer family and are armed with massive antlers that they use as weapons to both attack and defend. Number 5. Hyena 
Tigers and hyenas have existed together for centuries in parts of Asia, specifically the striped hyena and the Bengal tiger. In a one-on-one -on -one battle, the striped hyena wouldn't stand a chance against a full-grown tiger, even though they're seriously tough animals. They often meet at scavenging sites. Since the striped hyena is primarily a scavenger, and will try to drive predators away from their prey. Often this is successful, and a striped hyena can successfully make leopards, cheetahs, and tiger cubs abandon their kill in fear. The hyena has a few amazing advantages, including primate-level intelligence, a massive heart that's twice the size of a lion, and a very high pain threshold. On top of that, their bite can inflict 1,000 psi of force, which is enough to crush elephant bones. The spotted hyena native to Africa has the same qualities but is bigger and stronger. Also, the spotted hyena hunts 95% of its prey. These animals can dominate lions and would have no trouble dominating a tiger. Big cats have a much lower pain threshold, so one big bite might be enough to win the fight for the hyena. Number 4. Saltwater Crocodile Tigers love to swim. And you know what else likes to swim? Hey, you guessed it, crocodiles! Crocodiles are the dominant predators in the water, and once it gets a hold of a tiger, the cat's pretty much doomed. Take a look at this incident in which a crocodile killed a male tiger who was swimming across the river. That's why I'm glad they don't have crocodiles in Canada, so I can go swimming in peace. In this next case, the tigress and croc fought all night, with the crocodile emerging the victor. The tiger may be the king of the Indian jungle, but the crocodile is the king of India's waters. Number 3. Water Buffalo the water buffalo was a large, bovine animal frequently used as livestock. They're larger and heavier than domestic buffalo and weigh from 1,300 to 2,600 pounds or 600 to 1,200 kilograms. The largest recorded horns are just under 2 meters long. In Asia, the water buffalo and the Bengal tigers are known to be sworn enemies. There used to be an event in Bangladesh where a tiger and water buffalo were made to fight in a pit, who nearly always emerged the victor. Although the tiger was ferocious to the extreme, he had no staying power, and after receiving a few blows from his stronger assailant, he'd collapse in the center of the arena. And this is also the case in the wild, mostly. And if the tiger starts a fight with more than one buffalo, it's all over for that wild cat. Number 2. Hippopotamus The tiger is very cunning in its approach to taking down targeted prey. Using its stripes as camouflage, the tiger leaps onto its victim and uses its brutal strength and even more brutal paws and canines to hold down and tear into their prey. The key trait here is the domination the tiger exerts on its prey, overpowering and forcing them to bend to their will. Such a tactic won't work against something larger and stronger than a tiger, like a hippopotamus. The hippo has all the advantages to win the fight with this wild cat, which isn't helped by the tiger's preference to hunt alone. A hippo weighs around 4,000 pounds, which is eight times greater than that of a tiger's weight of about 500. While the tiger can undoubtedly exact some gruesome damage with its sharp claws, it probably won't be enough to do much damage on such a tough and durable animal. Besides, a hippo can hold its breath for up to five minutes while submerged in water. A tiger can't. If a hippo were to move the scrap to the water, its advantage and probability of winning would climb tremendously. As we all know, cats don't like to get wet, whether it be a bathtub at home or a river in the wild. Number 1. Elephants Elephants are the biggest land animals in the world, so it's no surprise that there are no pushovers in this fight. In Asia, elephants and tigers meet quite often, and the results are usually not so great for the tigers. Most conflict comes from tigers trying to hunt baby elephants as prey. But a baby elephant and a full-grown adult Asian elephant are not the same things at all. And if the tiger gets a little too overconfident, it's going to have to deal with an angry monster charging it down. Elephants are super protective of their young and will fearlessly attack anything that dares to threaten them. Something that tigers have to be extra careful of. In fact, knowing the threat, elephants will sometimes randomly attack tigers, which have caused tiger populations to move into areas free of elephants for their own safety. This one's an easy call. An adult elephant wins against the tiger every time. Those kicks and tusks and the massive weight of a truck charging through the forest are just too formidable, even for these big cats. Do you think tigers can defeat any of the animals on this list? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.